Okay, everybody, I'm back again, and I'm just going to make one last video tonight uh, to tell you guys about the drugstore coupon game. That's what I call it. And this is different from just regular grocery store couponing. And this is really a way to score big and get a lot of stuff for free. Now, the two drugstores that I have down here in Florida are Walgreens and CVS. I don't have Rite Aid here, but I hear that Rite Aid has a great rewards program also. So, you're like, what are you talking about, Sarah? Drugstores are like when you need something like right now and you have to pay like $4 for a gallon of milk and what are you talking about? I'm going to Walmart. <laughs> First of all, drugstores are so much more convenient than Walmart. I would rather go to a drugstore any day if the price is cheap enough than go to Walmart because I hate going in there. Um, even though the prices, I used to think, were actually good. And if you're not going to coupon, then I guess they are. And on that note, I just want to say something real quick. And maybe I'll make another video about this. Aldi is awesome. Is awesome. If you didn't hear my whisper. If you have an Aldi in your area, and if you are not afraid to save, go to Aldi. They have the cheapest prices on anything unless you're couponing. So if you need produce right now and it's not on sale at any of your other stores that you're going to be going to, which you'll find out on your coupon matchup websites if you go to them, get it at Aldi. I'm telling you, I got like a three pound bag of Red Delicious apples for like $1.29 or something the other day. And a little bag of baby carrots for 69 cents. It's just crazy. So if you need something it's not on sale, go to Aldi. That was a tangent. I'm sorry, I just had to throw that out there. So, back to the drugstore game. Drugstores sometimes do have higher prices, but they also have great rewards programs. CVS's reward program is called the Extra Care Bucks, or Extra Care whatever. So you sign up for their Extra Care Bucks rewards card, either online or in the store, and you get one of those little keychain tags, or a little tag to put in your wallet. And every time they scan it at checkout, you get extra savings. I've also heard that they give you back 2% of the things that you buy every quarter, which would be every three months. I haven't seen that yet because obviously I've only been doing this for a month. Um, but that's going to be awesome to get. Uh, also, that gives you savings just then and there in the store. Um, it also allows you to... Scan at the coupon machine when you get in there. You can watch other introductory um, in-store videos here on YouTube about CVS. Southern Savers has a great one. And she explains a lot of this stuff too, but I just wanted to give you just a quick overview. Um, sign up for the extra care card at CVS. Go on your coupon matchup websites and look, out, look at what's on sale. Look at what you're matching up with your coupons and everything. And look for the extra care bucks deals like this week Colgate toothpaste was free after extra care bucks which means you buy it out of pocket at $3.79 and then you they give you a coupon to use in the store on your next purchase that doesn't mean your next trip in the store so you can turn that right around and buy something else if you want to two separate transactions and if you're not afraid to save you're not afraid to stand there and do three or four transactions if that's what you want to do so anyway Extra Care Bucks is the coupons that they give you back on lots of items, like this toothpaste this last week. Um, they had Coke that if you bought um, with your card three 12 packs for $10, they were going to give you back $3. So it would be like getting three for $7, which is a really good deal. Um, let's see what else. That's pretty much it about extra care bucks. I mean, your websites will tell you um, what's on sale and what's going to be free after extra care bucks. All you have to do is check the boxes if it's that kind of website or, you know, just print out the list and you just grab your manufacturer's coupons out of your binder or out of your file folder and you go to the store and you get your stuff. Walgreens has the same kind of um, rewards program. It's called Register Rewards. And obviously there's kind of different stipulations like Walgreens, you can't use theirs for like certain things like tobacco and stuff like that. I think dairy also. Um, CVS, I don't know if they had the same kind of limitations. Uh, the extra care bucks do expire just like coupons do, so you want to use them up. 
Um, what else? These drugstores have free items after register rewards or extra care bucks all the time. Every week they have something that's free, usually. I don't know if Walgreens had anything that was free after um, register rewards this week. Sometimes they have multiple things. Uh, but they have buy one, get one free things. So definitely take a look at your insert. Um, even though I go on the websites and I kind of already know what's going to be on sale, you know, I still look at the look at the insert and take it with me to the store and everything. So, I mean, that's all you guys really need to know about that. You can still stack coupons, which means a manufacturer's coupon and a store coupon on the same item. Um, of course, you want to use that with a sale. And then you also want to try to get those register rewards back. And that what they call rolling register rewards or rolling extra care bucks is when I get back my three extra care bucks for buying this Coke product, I can either turn right around and buy something right there or um, on another thing that gives me extra care bucks. So maybe I take those three extra care bucks and buy the toothpaste for $3.79 so then I'm only out of pocket $0.79. Cents for the toothpaste and then I get back $3.79 um, so that's good too and you want to make sure that you try to stay organized and don't count your extra care bucks twice you know like oh I got this for three for seven and then I got that uh, for free too it's kinda it didn't really work like that because if you use the three from the coke and to pay for the toothpaste then you can say yeah I got the toothpaste for 79 cents but I still paid ten dollars for the three cokes so I don't know, It's kind of, you have to decide which way you're going to count it. Are you going to count when you get the extra care bucks back? Are you going to count it towards the item that you just got and say, okay, yes, I got three for $7. Or are you going to say, okay, I got three for $10 and then when I buy the toothpaste, okay, now I got the toothpaste for $0.79 cents and I just made $3 on the toothpaste. So I know that that's kind of confusing, especially for beginners, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, once again, there's lots of videos here on YouTube, great videos, um, go-to videos of mine that I've learned a lot in the last month. Southern Savers, Grocery Gurus, um, what's another one, uh, Big Cuz 32, I'll put a little bubble if I got that wrong, but she does a lot of great haul videos, and she usually does recipe videos and everything, so she will really give you the download on what's going on. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into what the rewards program was with the drugstores because that's a whole other game and you don't even have to play that one if you don't want to. If you just want to try to go to the grocery stores and get the best match-up sale deals on that, don't even want to mess with this, then don't. But it's really worth the time because you get lots of stuff for free. Most people that have been in the game for a long time don't pay for really any of their personal care items anymore. Shampoo, conditioner, lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant. I've got so much deodorant now and so much body wash. I still paid a little bit for it, you know, because I am kind of new to it still. But I did get a lot of free deodorant and a lot of free toothpaste so far, floss and everything like that. So, anyway, that's the drugstore game. Subscribe if you like me. Give me any questions or comments, guys. And have a great shopping day tomorrow or the next starting week. And remember, if you're just starting out and you're getting the Sunday paper, you're going to have to build up a few weeks to really start getting um, getting a lot of these deals because the coupons don't usually come out the same time as the sale. That's why it's important to save all your coupons. Okay, guys, so don't be discouraged if you're not really saving a lot in the first couple weeks because you have to build up that arsenal of coupons to be able to draw from for those sale items. Okay, guys? Bye!